Okay, in today's tutorial, what we're going to look at is a couple of things related to Moodle. So the things that I've got to show you are, for example, how to add a block in Moodle, how to send a message in Moodle, and how to view the people that are registered on the course, and you can actually see how often they use Moodle. So, let's start. So let's imagine this is your course page. What you first have to do is turn editing on. So I'm going to go ahead and press that. So what will appear is something that looks like this. You've got lots of different features here. So you've got a pen icon, which means that you can edit something. You've got these arrows here, which allow you to move the blocks up and down, add a resource, add an activity, which I'm not going to go into in today's tutorial. So let's go down to where we need to be, which is add a block. And the first block that you need to add is, so let's have a look at what's available. Ah, you've got messages. So if you add this block messages, what will happen is when you turn editing off, the block should appear on the right hand side. So you'll see now that you'll be able to access messages. So if any student sends a message to you, that should be there. So at the moment, there's no messages. Um, now what you want to be able to do is to turn editing on again and to add participants, so people who are registered onto the course. So we'll do the same thing, add a block, and we'll look at people. So online users is a different thing. Now this should allow me to see who's registered on this course. So I'll turn editing off. Okay, now, so in the previous tutorial, I showed you anything you don't need. You can just hide it to the left hand side. So search forums, I actually don't need that. So for now, I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to move it to the dock. So it's gone, gone. Yep, so I've got less things to look at now. So I've, I can see who's registered. So I can click on participants. And it should show me a list of all the students and staff members who are on this course. Perfect. Now it will show you 41 seconds ago I logged in. Uh, it shows you exactly how often somebody is using the website uh, and particularly this course. So there's a few people that haven't accessed this course and this allows you to choose. Um, so you can actually speak to the students and say, you know, why haven't you accessed Moodle? I can see it's been quite a while. Now sending a message, choose. You can select all, but as you can see, there's four pages here. So you might not want to do that. You might just need to speak to one student. So deselect all. So let's say I select one person and then I choose, okay, send a message, add a new note or add a common note. So if you send a message, it should come up as a normal message screen here. So you can write, and then you can preview this and hit send. So preview the message, this is how it will appear. So it'll be quite short um, and, and sharp. So we'll leave that. I'm not going to send that. We're not going to remove this person. Okay. Let's just go back. So it's just taking a little while to load up. So you've got all these blocks here. You've got the people and their information. You can change uh, when they last accessed. So you can sort by when they accessed by pressing this button here. 